In this video, I will show you how to add dialogue to NPCs so you can now actually communicate with them instead of staring at them blankly. We're in Roblox Studio currently, and first off, you have to get a NPC or a character that we will interact with. So let's go into let's see this one, this nice noob NPC. Now, in this video, we will use the actual dialogue, I believe dialogue GUI it's called, the built-in, yeah, the built-in dialogue option that allows for communication between the player and a inanimate object pretty much. Insert the dialogue object into the head, which is really important. You want to insert it into the head so the dialogue option appears right oh like right here. That's how it look in game. It'll appear right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change a couple values. Now any of these values you see here, you know they're customizable like the purpose, tone, trigger distance, trigger offset, but we're gonna leave trigger distance and trigger offset the same. We're going to change tone to friendly. We're going to change the purpose to help. I guess that's fine. Now the initial prompt is going to be, how can I help you? I'm going to have it be a question. I'm going to have the goodbye prompt be by, which essentially is when you interact with them, can you like just leave the conversation immediately? That's what this option is going to be, just to leave the conversation. I'm going to create a dialogue choice, which is going to come as a option after the dialogue is said, after this, how can I help you? We're going to select one of these options. And we're going to have two options. So we're going to make the first one, who are you? We're going to say that. And they're going to say, I'm an NPC. That's what the character's going to say. And then we're going to have another dialogue choice. And this dialogue choice, I'm going to leave as a surprise to you, but I will get to this now. Okay, I've just finished up coding that dialogue choice. And all we have to do now is play it and let's see what we've made now we're in Rob we're in the game not Roblox Studio we're in the game now we have to find the NPC there you are and to interact with them oh, on the mobile I'm sure it's different but on a computer we click this and we see our options coming up how can I help you and we're gonna select who are you that's the option that we coded in and it says I'm an NPC so we know that the conversation is working properly we didn't make any errors but uh after some time, you see that we can interact with them again. So let's interact with them again. And this time, I'm going to select the option that I coded in secretly, which is like and subscribe. And I usually don't tell you to like and subscribe, but now you have to because the NPC said it. This is pretty much how you do it. This is pretty much how you code in dialogue. There are other ways to do this, like making a custom one, you know, making your own. But Roblox has this built-in feature, and uh, why remake something if it works, you know? That's pretty much it. There are many things that you can do with this, like making a unfriendly NPC that really doesn't want to talk to you, or... You know, there are so many options that you can do. It's, it's limitless, pretty much. So, uh, thanks for watching.